Hello beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat Reacts. I'm Cat and I react to mostly 80s and 90s film and if that is something that interests you then why not subscribe? Today I will be reacting to a film called The House Sitter. It's the host Goldie Hawn and Steve Martin and that is all I know about it. If you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about then go right hop on and let's go. We're here. Wrapped in a giant a bow. I like it. Will you marry me? What? Becky, I have loved you since the ninth grade. Marry me. You bought this house? I designed it. I built it. For me? So will you. No. Okay. Hungry? Are you from Hungary? Uh, yes, Hungary. Gwen is to be called Gwen. Becky is over. That was months ago. You just gotta find a way to transcend. It was only three months ago. He'd loved her since ninth grade. Given time. That, that is a drawing of an engagement ring, which I designed and even built. I'll take care of opening tomorrow. Oh, you will? I can sleep. Mwah. Oh, I love you. You tricked me. Why were you pretending to be Hungarian? I didn't trick you. I deceived you. What's the difference? Intention. Well, there's just all these cities I want to live in before I die, and Boston just happened to be one of them. I've never lived anywhere. How can you never live anywhere? Well, just here in uh, Dobbs Mill. So is that where she's from? Who? The babe who thought the house was too big for a finger? Oh, Becky, no, no, that, that, that's over. I, I don't even go up there anymore. I probably should at least take the ribbon off the house, right? You mean you still own it? And nobody's living in it? Yeah, it's a waste, huh? Oh, this is fabulous! Oh, I love it! We're back where we started from. Yeah, it's where I live, above the restaurant. So in return for waitressing, I get to live here rent-free. It's cozy. I like what you did with the uh, drape thing. Well, I mean, maybe this helps him get over the the other one. Is he gone? Okay, so house sitter does not mean what I thought it meant. I thought that he would hire her to clean and cook and stuff. No, she is just gonna enter his house without his knowledge. Yeah, I would live there. So, miss, we're looking at $34.63. Right, uh, put that on the Newton Davis account, please. I beg your pardon? He doesn't have an account here. Wait, you're Travis, right? And uh, you are? I'm his wife. <laughs> Oh, poor you. You said no. You're married to Newton Davis? Yeah. I'm Becky. Becky? Davis told me all about you. I'm Gwen. And you're living in the house? Starting to. Just getting groceries and housewares, pots and pans. The hardware store's over there. Oh. Maybe I'll call you for dinner sometime? Great! Why? Why would you do that? Great chair. You work here? Yes, ma'am. I love it. You could practically live in this chair, you know? How much? It's $20. Do you deliver? Free of charge. All right. You got a deal. 611 Hillside, that little house that Newton Davis built. That house is vacant. Well, we're moving back. I'm Gwen. I'm his wife. Mine's George. I'm his father. Oh, I don't believe it. Th th that he can be so insensitive, so, so irresponsible. It's because of our little dispute, isn't it? Is that why he kept this marriage a secret? Yes. Newton is really sorry about, um, you know. Why don't you pick up the phone and call the boy? Uh, I don't think that would be a very good idea. For the time being, why don't you just send messages through me? Oh, just tell him, please, for God's sake, come home. She's getting herself mixed up in things she should not be involved in. <sighs> oh, what's that? It's just a little something to help you get started. Oh, no, I really couldn't. Wow. Surely you must feel bad now. You're taking advantage of this sweet old lady. She has pearl necklace. I've been thinking about the house in Dobbs Mill, about selling it. Sell it? I could pay back everyone I owe money to. I agree. Could you take a look at this, please? You know, plus, I think that keeping this house is like hanging on to the past. We have this amazing communication, you know? It's like Chinese food. You know, like on Thursdays or something, and you just can't deal with dinner? And he comes home with, like, this big bag of Chinese takeout. It's just like he knew. 
was just two people talking, during which came out that I didn't have the insurance to pay for the bill, so he paid for it. How could he afford that? He, he's got all his money in that house. Oh, well, you know he's an architect. Yeah, he's just an associate. It doesn't really pay very much. You know he got promoted? He has? Yeah, he's kicking big architectural butt. She's clearly done this before. Hello? What did you expect? It's his house. What are you doing here? What am I doing? What are you doing here? Well, I, I got kicked out of my apartment and I had no place to go. Didn't you have any friends you could go to? I told you I'd only been in Boston for three weeks. I didn't know anybody. All I had was that cute little drawing you did of this house. What is happening? Yes, and so what is happening? I went to Keller's Market to just pick up some peanut butter and stuff. Charge the groceries to me? What'd you tell him? How'd you get him to do it? Well, I guess he was under the impression that I was... Insane? I just told him to go ahead and put it on our account. Our account? You told him you were my wife? This coffee table, it's my mother's. My parents think we're married? Everything's gonna be fine. You can't stay here. Uh, why not? Well, I hardly know you. And where the hell am I supposed to go? And what do you mean you hardly know me? He doesn't. You slept together once. Hello? Thank oh. you. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. You know why I said no to you that day? Please, explain. Because you scared me. Building this house, putting a big ribbon around it. I didn't want to marry a dreamer. A dreamer? Lady, he built the house. What are you talking about, a dreamer? When I see you through Gwen's eyes, you look very different to me. I heard about your promotion. Associate partner? I must admit, I'm a little jealous. There's something I think you should know. I slept with Boomer Bauer? He's your old boyfriend, and you bumped into him one day, and you got to reminiscing, and it just happened. Except now you don't know where we stand. You gave me an old boyfriend, and you named him Boomer? You get what you put out there in the cosmos, love. I mean, you've told a few whoppers yourself, you know. I told nice ones. Boy, for a while there, it was really a great marriage. Why'd you do it, son? I've grown quite fond of her. It's just the secrecy. So I apologize. You do? Because finally, you do make good decisions. Gwen, for instance. What she told us was how sorry you felt. You told them I was sorry? Gwen and I are separated. What? Go ahead, Pop. Lecture me. Another immature move by Newton. I was winging it. I thought I was doing you a favor by bringing you and your dad back together again. I don't see why we had to get separated because of it. I think I'll go make some tea. I'm going. Yeah, bye. So you uh, like the house? How could I not? It's... Uh... You didn't like it when he offered it to you? We're all just human. Lemon or sugar? I am not going to marriage counseling with this woman, and that is final. I'm disappointed in you, Newton. Uh, George, please. She slept with her old boyfriend after we were married. I was bored. What? You're a con artist! Don't yell at me! We're only pretending to be married, and it seems to me that the only person that's pulling a con around here is you with your friend Becky. May I talk with you? I just had a big fight with Gwen. I came home from work and she just started. A... Gwen is here. What the hell are you doing here? No, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, God. He's tried to forget about you. I came here tonight because when you walked out that door, I just had to see if this is where you were going to go. A marriage is bigger than two people, sweetheart. Yeah, but we don't have to invite her family. We'd like to meet them. They're our family, too, now. Yeah. I just don't think a reception would be wise. No. So what do you think? Can you show this to Mosby? Uh, no, you better do it. Why? He likes you. Davis, if I take that in there and Mosby starts carrying on about how brilliant it is, I'm going to take the credit. You sneaky son of a bitch. Mr. Davis from the third floor to see you. How the hell come I never knew you were married? Hi, honey. Why is, why is she popping up everywhere? Honey, how come you never invited Mr. Mosby over to the house? My hubby designed the most beautiful little house. Did he now? Right now, the problem is you don't have any parents. No, I don't have any parents. Don't worry, I'll get some. Ralph, Mary. Hello. Hey, hey. Oh, please don't tell me she is going to pick up two homeless people and pretend they are her parents. When you married Gwen, was it maybe in just some small way to get back at me? I can't help but feel like a lot of this is my fault. No. no. Why do you think that? The men I date, it never works out. I mean, most of them are just jerks. 
They make up stories that they'll tell you anything to get you into bed. Why does that sound familiar? And on cue, we have a storm. Inside the fireplace? I can't. I can't be the other woman. Oh, stop it. You've been wanting to be the other woman since you saw him with that other woman. You're married. Well, that hasn't stopped you before. I brought some Chinese if you want. I figured oh. you'd be exhausted from shopping with my mother. I get exhausted just thinking about it. Did you get a dress? You brought me Chinese food? Mm -hmm. What do you think you're gonna pull this thing off? Me? Her? Gwen? She'll pull it off. I'm telling you, she's some kind of a genius, you know, a savant. Oh, beautiful Gwen! <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> you can tell Gwen that she can come back anytime. She's always fun for me. Oh! You son of a bitch taking advantage of a sweet girl like that! Dude, what did you do that for? She probably lied about this as well. He knows where is Gwen? Funny you should ask. You're the one who raised the rent. Put out or get out. Carol did? That's a little hard to believe. Well, for one thing, Carol doesn't own the apartment, and two, she would have told me. I've known Gwen since Toledo. Gwen is probably not even her real name. He should know better by now. Bumped into Patty today. I think she was a little offended that you didn't call her after your boss busted in on you in your apartment. And imagine his surprise when I dropped in at the restaurant today and punched him in the face. For me? You punched Carol in the face just for me? I punched a totally innocent Hungarian! Tell me the truth. Tell me why, for God's sake, did you come here? I just wanted to see what it would be like to live in that picture. The town and people and life. I've never had anything like that before. I really didn't intend for it to get this elaborate. It's just that everyone around here keeps treating me like I'm somebody. Except you. He doesn't know you. Nobody does. Well, We're Gwen's folks. I'm Ralph. Excuse me. Bernie Dunkel. That's Mary. Hello. 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 Mosby's gonna be here any minute, and I don't think your parents can carry it off without you. Please, Gwen. Maybe you should talk to her. Hello? It's Mommy, Angel. We're all waiting for you. What's the matter? It's all gonna end. Gwen? You can only say we love you, Gwen. Oh. Your family now. We're here for you, sweetheart. If you need us. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny? <laughs> oh, uh, we were just telling Davis stories. Oh, how fun. Davis, do you remember our adventure one? Stop reminiscing with Davis. Lady, you dumped him because you didn't think he was marriage material, even though he built you a house. Then, after he came back with a wife, you suddenly wanted him back. You enticed him. You halfway cheated with him. Then you dumped him again because, oh no, you're married. you suddenly very ethical. And now you're sitting at his reception reminiscing about him? I do not like this lady. I do not. We've been talking with Mary, and she wants to get back together with Bernie. And your father and I were thinking if they could be close to Gwen. Like we're close to you. Right. Well, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll build him a cottage across the pond. All I said was that you and Davis are obviously well-suited for each other. So I hope you're hearing this. But sweetheart. Don't defend her. Are you listening to what she's saying? I don't hear her saying anything. Exactly. That's exactly the problem. You don't hear and you don't see. Don't you think I know that you're in love with my husband? Well, you had your chance with him. I'm the one who found him. And I'm the one who knows what he's worth. And you're the goddamn one he wants. I wouldn't have seen this house if it weren't for that wife of yours. And I wouldn't be giving you the promotion I'm giving you if I hadn't seen this house. Oh. You are the best. It was miraculous. I got the promotion. I want this marriage to work. What? I'm not saying that everything's perfect, but I really think that this marriage is worth saving. What marriage? She left me. She left me, Becky. Davis. I don't know what got into her. I thought the relationship was going along fine. Just tell me the truth. Everything she said was true. I love you, Gwen. I want to marry you. Don't you remember the time I, I, I had myself delivered to you in a box for your birthday? And, and how the guy I paid screwed up and delivered me to the wrong apartment? She turned him into a liar. Marry me, Gwen. I'm lost without you. What about my parents? I love you, Gwen. Actually, it's Jessica. 
I knew it. I called it. All right, that was me watching House Sitter. It was good. I, I was so happy he didn't end up with Becky. I, I didn't. I disliked Becky. I was worried that I was being overly harsh to Becky, but no, she deserved every single thing. And I, I did enjoy, like Goldie's free spirited character dislike the lying and that's a bit too much being in love with being alive those type of people are my favorite type of people and she actually displayed those characteristics and i appreciate it it gave the film a good boost i would say 3.5 out of 5